Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 5. We've got a new trailer, post-crisis for episode 10, bottle episode, it's titled. Also, we got a synopsis for the episode that Wynn returns in, and also in that trailer for bottle episode, I'm pretty damn sure it has some footage from episode 11, which has the return of Wynn as well. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so this Wynn stuff was actually released nine days ago, but I did not see it, because it was sort of caught up in the whirlwind of crisis, and it's a episode synopsis for episode 11, which confirms Jeremy Jordan is back. So we're going to talk about this Jeremy Jordan stuff first, because I feel like that's what most of you guys are here for, but also you're here for the trailer as well. So we'll get to the trailer for episode 10 next after this bit. So yeah, episode 11, this is how the synopsis goes. Jeremy Jordan returns, David Harewood directs. As Supergirl tries to thwart a toy man copycat, Windshot returns from the future. So yeah, very short, but very exciting because we didn't exactly know what episode he was going to return, but we knew it would be around this time, and we knew that he was having a three episode arc, and he would definitely be in the 100th episode, which is episode 13, so this makes sense. And it's just so exciting to see the actual confirmation, and also he was at a show the other day, Jeremy was doing a live show somewhere, and he talked about how he was coming, by the end of the month, back to your TV screens, and so yeah, this is the episode on the 26th, I do believe, and so this is coming very soon, and Supergirl is coming back as well for episode 10 in just a few days, but anyway, so yeah, Jeremy Jordan returns and David Harewood directs, I love the fact that Jeremy returns and it's David's directorial sort of duty in that episode, you know, he's directed before, so it's not his debut, but like his second one, I don't know how to word that. But anyway, so it's just great to see them working together. I think that's really exciting. But also, you've got the Toy Man copycat, so Supergirl tries to thwart a Toy Man copycat. Obviously, this may be the reason for his return, or it may play into his return. However, yeah, there's probably some sort of bigger reason. Maybe it's to do with Crisis as to why he comes back from the future. But also, with him coming back from the future, what are we going to learn about the future, and how has Crisis affected everything? And are we going to get references to Monel, Imra, the Legion of Superheroes? Well, we've got some more Legion stuff to talk about later in this video anyway to do with Brainy, which is a little bit different, but kind of teases a similar thing. And maybe part of episode 11, we may get to see that Legion of Superheroes ship again, because how else is he going to return apart from, you know, coming in that ship that he, Monel, and Imra went back to the future on? And so, yeah. Just so excited. Let me know what are your thoughts on the return of Windshot in the comments down below. I'm just beyond ready for this. Okay, so yeah, let's move on. So episode 10, bottle episode, is going to be coming up really, really soon. And this is the first episode post-crisis. And Lex Luthor is back, so I kind of suspected this, but I didn't realize he would be like fully into the show straight away. Because, you know, in Crisis, he was a massive thing. And obviously, it was a setup to keep him around for Supergirl. But also, he just did a really big part in the crossover, and I really enjoyed Lex. And I thought Lex was the best thing about last season. You guys know I really liked the ending of season 4, but I wasn't hot on the first half. And I think that this is going to be a really good thing, because I think the first half of season 5 has been good, but I don't think it's been anything too memorable. And I apply that back to the start of season 4. I did not like it very much, I thought the episodes slightly got better as they went on, but then we got to the mid-season, we got the introduction of Lex Luthor, we had Red Daughter, and then it got really, really good. I was just hoping for that the whole season, and I feel like we're going to have a similar situation this season. However, like I said, season 5 has actually been a lot better than the start of season 4, so, you know, there's no real big comparison, but I think the comparison is that Lex is coming back, and I think that's a really good thing. Anyway, so let's go ahead and break down the trailer for episode 10, Bottle Episode, which we believe could be in relation to Brainy and, you know, his sisters showing up, or at least a different version of Brainy is. But she's also the sister of Jesse Raff in real life, so I'm kind of suspecting they're going to be siblings. So the first shot of the trailer is of Lena Luthor, and she is guessing the revelation that Lex Luthor is alive. She killed him, and she thinks he's dead, like... She's seeing a ghost here, basically, is what she's thinking. 
and so you see Lex, he sort of explains everything, he's like, so there was this crisis, and that's how I returned, and that is how, you know, things have changed, and it seems like Lena potentially remembers some stuff, but there might be a change that has retconned, you know, what happened in the earlier part of the season with Supergirl and Lena, maybe they'll become friends again due to the fact that Crisis happened and maybe Lena doesn't remember everything. And then we cut in the next shot in the trailer to Argo being destroyed, so I find that very interesting that they include it. I think it's just an example of Crisis, right? But at the same time, will they talk about Argo? I think they should, unless they've sort of forgot what they wrote about in Crisis and talked about in Crisis because that was such a big thing and Kara really had no time to mourn over it and I'm wondering if Argo survived in, you know, this different version of reality in this new multiverse that Oliver created at the end of Crisis. Okay, so yeah, Lex Luthor, he got awarded that prize last episode and you see this here and you get the reaction shot, Kara's there, she's very kind of disturbed and you see everyone clapping and even Nia next to her. So reality's changed, Kara's gonna have to get used to it and I'm guessing Jean might tell everyone but not completely everyone. I definitely think that Alex is obviously gonna know. As you can see, Alex is talking with Kara and so they're walking down the streets of National City, they're eating donuts, I don't know, it's just very casual and so yeah, they're talking you know, in regards to Lex and how strange it is. And then we get a confrontation with Lex, with Kara and Alex, so I think that with Lex, you know, changing reality and being in charge of the DEO, he's going to be around more. I don't know if he's necessarily going to be a villain, I think he's going to be doing things his own way, probably more in like the vein of an anti-hero, sort of doing good stuff, at the same time being quite questionable. So yeah, we move on to the next shot, we got Kara sort of judging Lex in the DEO and then we got this random shot of Lex, I don't know what's happening here, different lighting, it's kind of red, very moody. Then we move over to Kara with Staz Nez character, William, who obviously was a decent part of the first part of the season. So they're in Catco and they're having a conversation or something like that. Then this is where I think we're moving to episode 11 because we're at this sort of toy fair or this like toy convention, I don't know what's going on but the episode synopsis for episode 11, the episode that Wim returns in, is very much so in the vein of this because we got a copycat toy master again, so I don't know what's happening there. Then we move on to Lex and this could potentially be in the Legion of Superheroes ship, this is the bit I was talking about. The design is very similar and you know, Wim's returning so you would hazard the guess he's returning through that ship. So maybe Lex finds out about it, I'm not sure. What do you guys think about that? I'm very interested, let me know in the comments down below. We got our first look at Megan Raff, who is Jessie Raff's sister, and so she's in a bar, and it could be with Kara, I can't really tell, apart from it cuts to this next shot with Kara, so it does kind of seem like they're together right there. Then Kara's running out of the DEO, there's some sort of explosive going off, I think that could potentially be in episode 11 with the Toy Master, we got this shot of Lex, I don't know where he is, I think he could be in the DEO, but he's in a suit, kind of smart, different from any of the other shots in the trailer. Like I said, the explosion, we got Supergirl and Brainy, Supergirl kicks down the door, and they're obviously confronting someone in there. Then we move on to the next one, and this is again what looks like to be the Legion of Superhero ship, and I, I could be completely wrong on that, but the design is very much so you know, like the ship we saw in Season 3 with mon Imra and Wynn when they went back to the future and when we saw them first come back in the pods in the past. So, yeah, it could be that. We got this shot of William, he's got like some ear pods in or something like that, so he's talking to someone, he's very much so spying on someone. So, yeah, he's obviously going to be doing some investigative work. And we have Kara, I think that's my favourite shot, I just think it looks really cool, the lighting, you know, how it bounces off Melissa's hair. Then in the background, we've got a crater who's going to be sticking around for a bit, I guess. I kind of forgot about her, and I thought that she would maybe go away, but yeah. What led me to mainly believe that this has episode 11 footage in is you see these monkeys, and they're obviously explosives, that is very much so what's going on here, but... I think this is in relation to the Toy Master copycat, and like I said earlier, we've got, you know, this place, it seems like it's some sort of convention or some sort of, like, party 
with toys and we've got Kara and Alex they are thwarting something here probably the explosion and yes and we got Lena once again with Lex with a sort of confrontational face then one of the coolest shots of the trailer I have no idea what's happening here but there's some sort of force field this purple force field in front of Kara and she's trying to break through it she's trying to punch her and I think it looks really cool we got Nia she's got blood on her mouth blood in her ear so she's been taken down maybe it's by Megan Raff's character whoever she turns out to be but I'm pretty sure she could be an evil version of Brainiac and one of the final shots of the trailer Supergirl closes her eyes it seems like she's about to flop to the ground I see red. 